In a jaw-dropping surprise, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's novel-worthy romance has set sail after the heat of the era's tour. Sleuths covering Taylor Swift's every move think she and Travis Kelsey are on a getaway together at the Eleuthera Island in the Bahamas. Now here's the deal. Despite Taylor's best efforts, fans are still tracking her private jets, or at least trying to anyway. One particular group thinks they've got her latest flight pinned down specifically for a trip to the island in the Bahamas. They have even suggested that Taylor may have been on a flight Sunday from LA to the Bahamas. And that's where it gets even more interesting and makes us believe that they might actually be on to something. Alleged pictures of a very loved up Taylor and Travis surfaced online on Monday, and it appears to show them in a tropical setting. Travis Kelsey just sent every Swifty into an absolute frenzy. So the newest episode of New Heights is out right now, and he just said something that threw every single person for a loop. Lab-grown diamonds, that's lab-grown fucking Humans? NBA player. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's not far off, let's be honest. Can't wait till I fucking make one. <laughs> Don't do this. Do not give any of these other conspiracy this. <gasps> oh my God, did he just say that? He did, did he? <gasps> Now, if you listen to New Heights, you know that these two screw around like this a lot. This is not uncommon for these two brothers. But I guess you never know. They are on vacation right now. I believe it's in the Bahamas, right? If I'm not wrong, enjoying some downtime. Both of them have some time off right now. Her from her tour, him obviously the off season of the NFL. Would it shock me if he proposed soon? No, not really. I feel like celebrities are on like a different planet. They are having a good time. Everybody's kind of in love with them all around the world. Families are starting to get involved. So. And they're older too, so sometimes you do move faster when you're older, so wouldn't shock me at all. More accurately, the photos published by celebrity gossip handled Dumois moi appear to show Taylor and Travis walking along a dock. Lucky for you, we've done some digging and we think we got it figured out. The dock they're on looks awfully similar to one that's just a hop and skip away from the main Eleuthera Island. And guess what? Taylor has been here before with none other than ex Joe Alwyn. Remember, in Y22, Taylor and Joe also jetted down to the Bahamas. And they were staying in Eleuthera as well, in an Airstream trailer owned by none other than Lenny Kravitz. No word on whether she's back up there again with Trav, hopefully not. What's interesting about this is the fact that Joe was just in LA the other day, while Travis and Taylor were in town too. Seems to be a lot of flashbacks going on with this ex. And so we reached out to our paparazzi friends to get their insight because they would know better than anyone whose teams are contacting the paparazzi, who is wanting to be seen, who's trying to hide. Specifically with Joe Alwyn, our paparazzi friends told us that, what'd they say? So they said because Taylor Song recently came out um, paparazzi are now looking for Joe. They're seeking him out and that he wasn't somebody that would naturally put himself in the path of photogs. This isn't a PR strategy. They are looking for Joe Alwyn because his name is in the headlines. And that is very much how the paparazzi works. Travis had this vacation planned for a while. Now, after they went on this vacay, they are due to come back to Los Angeles and continue hanging out playing house together in Travis's new pad. Travis, being the boyfriend of the century, thought of the perfect way to give Taylor a refreshing break. A romantic date night on a luxury yacht. Now, how's that? Super cute. Every girl loves romantic dates, especially with a good dose of luxury. There were clips of Travis and Taylor caught casually dressed and walking away from the boat with their hands in a knot. Taylor was all smiles as she beamed and greeted the fans they met on their way back. Travis sure hit the spot with this one. Talking about vacations, Travis appeared in Singapore to attend Taylor's tour, but it seems that he did more than just attend the tour. He planned a dreamy getaway away date for his girlfriend to help ease her nerves from all the singing and dancing. Stay tuned as we let this love story set sail. Now, if you are a devoted Swifty, you're definitely not new to Taylor and her whirlwind of romantic surprises, but never before have we actually seen anything as eyeballing romantic as her rendezvous with the three-time Super Bowl champion, Travis Kelsey. Travis is definitely the boyfriend of the century because this guy doesn't look like he is leaving touring with Taylor anytime soon. And the truth is there are a million and one other things he could be doing right now, but he put all of that aside just to show up for Taylor. Taylor explained that the tour in Singapore meant a lot to her and to her family. 
Travis probably understood this and cleared his schedule to make it happen. Believe it or not, this tour is pretty huge and we've had a number of highlights in the background of good music. First off, when Taylor's tour landed in Asia, we saw Blackpink's Lisa actually attend the concert. Beyond the K-pop scene, impact on global music relations. How huge is that? Talk about going international. Secondly, there's been some potential lovebirds getting into more serious entanglements. So this Asian guy wanted to propose to his girlfriend, and he probably thought, no better place to do that than in the National Stadium, right in the middle of Taylor's concert. Ah! Ah! Bet his girlfriend is a die-hard Swifty. Anyway, it's not surprising that many Taylor fans are also following in her footsteps. While we know Taylor to be the mother of sensational romances, this Travis Taylor train is second to none. Even the start of this love story reads like a page ripped out of a best-selling romance novel. Travis managed to find a blank space in her busy schedule to love up on her and allow her to be the baby girl that she truly is. Travis Kelsey showed us the Taylor Swift's first night of the Eras Tour in Sydney, Australia. And so much happened at the concert, but I'll save the best for last. When Travis arrived, he was seen interacting with all the fans at the concert, even trading bracelets with other Swifties and taking pictures. At one point, he even gave some fans guitar picks during the show. Travis was dancing to all of Taylor's songs and appreciating her entire performance. This was him during blank space. And later in the concert, when Taylor sang Shake It Off, you could hear him say, Go Tay Tay, as he cheered her on. Later that night, Taylor continued her tradition of changing the lyrics of Karma to mention his name, with him in attendance as he watched on. And after the concert finally wrapped up after hours, Taylor walked off the stage and shared this amazing moment with Travis. Taylor, on her end, changed the lyrics of her song, Karma, which she wrote initially for her ex to make it perfect for Travis, and when she debuted the lyrics change, he was at that performance. She changed the lyrics from, Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me, to, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. Oh, and by the way, Travis Kelsey plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. You should have seen his face. Only Taylor would make a full-grown, six-feet-five, buff, athletic man blush in front of millions of people. It was a whole new level of adorable. They haven't started writing songs together, but they are sure doing many other things together. Taylor's upcoming album will definitely bid a very vocal goodbye to the Joe phase because Taylor is famous for singing to her exes. All the many Super Bowl kisses, surprise yacht dates, and endless list of PDAs for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's whirlwind romance is enough to make the single mingle. From Sydney to Singapore, their love sure defines the limitations of time and space. Sounds unreal, but it's true. You saw the clips. Basically, this celebrity romance has single Pringles recontemplating their solitude. What's next for our power couple? Will they keep bringing more PDA moments to our screens? or will they go off the radar? After Taylor's tour, drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't wanna miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you wanna know what was Taylor's adorable shout out to Travis Kelsey in the Eras Tour concert, watch this next video.